man, has this thing take a turn for the worse here between public enemy and Bernie Sanders? So my question to y'all is, did Bernie Sanders kill public enemy? I'm reading. I'm going to read y'all some of the comments that I've been reading all day. To quote Ice Cube, y'all let a Jew break up my crew. I've always supported Chuck D since the late 80s, but I'm not down with this at all. Sad day when one of the most influential voices of black culture pulls a B-move like this. 99% of the time, I don't let entertainers bother me with their political beliefs, but Chuck was my man. What the F? Here's another one. Wow, Chuck D has fired Flay because he didn't want to be part of this lame as Bernie Wade. Talk about becoming what you fight against. I guess they're not fighting the power anymore. They just want socialism instead. Sad. Another one. This man can't even stand up for his people or his ancestors. Fight the power of my ass. Bernie is also D power. D power who doesn't respect you nor your people. Imagine listening and knowing about public enemy music and think about them endorsing Bernie Sanders doesn't make sense at all. Here's another one. Chuck D sold flavor flavor out for a white man. I never thought I'd see the day. Twitter's going crazy over this. Twitter is going wild over this, man. I mean, whoo. Now, before I leave my thoughts about it, I'm going to say this, man. Subscribe to the channel. Hit that like button for me. I'm trying to get these subscribers up. So, y'all know what to do. We're going to build this wave up heavily. So, and going on with this situation here with Public Enemy, I'm going to get my thoughts about this here. See, Chuck can support who he wants. I'm not the type of person that's going to cancel somebody because of who they support in, as a politician. I'm not going to throw away their CDs. I'm not going to stop streaming their music. I'm not like that at all. The only thing that I have a problem with with Chuck doing is when you're involving a brand. And this could be for anything. It ain't got nothing to do with Bernie. But we, I ain't even said here to those who clear this up. I reason why Chuck D would support Bernie Sanders. I didn't say I was bashing. People need to learn how to read and comprehend. But in this case here, when you have a brand, you have to get everybody in tune with that brand because it's one thing to see if Chuck D was endorsing Bernie Sanders. If Chuck D was endorsing Bernie Sanders by itself, the name just said Chuck D, I don't think it would have been an issue. But when you're involved in the brand, what do people think when they think of Public Enemy? They think of Flavor Flav, they think of Professor Griff, they think of the Bomb Squad. They think of Harry Allen and they think of Terminator X. That's what they associate public enemy with. So with Chuck associating the public enemy brand with Bernie Sanders, that created a conflict of interest. That created a conflict of interest with everybody else. This is what the real outrage is. This is like me forming a crew and I'm taking the brand. And I'm associated with another brand, like let's say LBGT or the feminist rally or the feminist movement. I'm taking this brand here that I formed with my brothers and I'm going to associate it with this brand without even telling them or, or consorting with them. Because at the end of the day, everybody has a say so in creating this of it. We sold merchandise off of it. We all made money off of it. So that would be wrong on my behalf to just take the brand without consulting to my other members about their feelings about it. Because now you're associating the brand with this situation here with Bernie and everybody's also thinking, oh, Flavor Flav won't be there. Terminator X is going to be there. Professor Griff going to be there. The Bomb Squad going to be there. Harry Allen may pull up. That's what people is thinking. It's a false advertisement issue as well. You can't do that, Chuck. And I love Chuck D. I'm not going to cancel anybody. Public Enemy is my all-time favorite rap group. I'm not going to just cancel him because he supports Bernie Sanders. I disagree. You could disagree with him. 
because the way I see with Chuck, I rationalize and understand why he found a candidate that felt spit spoke for him. That's his prerogative to do. If he wants to support Bernie in this movement, let him. There's no need to get angry about it. The issue is, however, is when you're associating the brand. When you're associating the brand, I think that's where Chuck was wrong. Then you're mentioning things about uh, Chuck, I mean, Flavor's personal issues. You're saying he don't know Barry from Bernie Sanders. You're saying he's he's on drugs and all this stuff. That's a little too far. That's a bit too far because Flav has never, ever bashed Chuck D publicly. Even when he threw Griff out, Flav was stood next to him. Even when they went through the, the battle with Leo Cohen, Flav stood next to him. Flav stood next to this dude for probably about a good 35 years. They always had like, a, you know, a brotherhood type relationship. But I'm not feeling that this would be the clash of everything. Like this would be the end all be all. And this is how Flavor Flav is feeling like, dang, after all we've been through, getting almost kicked off the label, going through the lawsuit against Lior, fighting through the times, trying to bring people on, almost being blackballed. You going you gonna to do this to me? So I'm looking at both angles. I'm looking at both angles. And I'm hoping for the sake of the group, I'm hoping this is here. I'm crossing my fingers that this is happening. I'm hoping that it's a publicity stunt. I'm hoping that it's a publicity stunt to sell a new album. I'm hoping this is actually a publicity stunt because they have a new album coming and maybe this is something that could gather its attention because this is what a lot of people are doing these days. But if it isn't, I hate to see it happen, man. It's not. It's like watching these crews as soon as it's almost time for checkout time, they want to start beefing. I hate to see it, man. And this is a situation where it should be handled behind closed doors. Because when you involve in the brand, everybody needs a say-so. Everybody has a say-so. They all establish that brand. Now, Nobody's saying, even with Flavor, Flavor did his own thing. You see, you've never seen Flavor associating the public enemy brand with none of the personal things he did, none of the cooning he was doing, none of the VH1 specials, none of the bad music he was making uh, <laughs> on, the, on the solo tip. He never associated public enemy with that brand. I got to give him that. I got to give him that. He never associated public enemy with any of that. He never used Chuck and them as a as a vehicle to promote his own vendettas. But see, what Chuck was doing here, he's using the public enemy imagery to promote his issue. That's well, that's all where the conflict is. So I'm hoping that these brothers settle it. I'm hoping that they can piece things up. Cause we don't need no more of this, man. We don't need no more of this BS with these crews beefing anymore. They need to just handle it behind closed doors. So that's my thought about this. I know y'all looking at the title and be like, oh man, this dude going off. It ain't nothing like that at all. I got love for all the members of Public Enemy. These brothers have put down too much for the culture, for us to just turn their back on them just based off a of political opinion. And I'm hoping that they can squash it. So holler at your boy.